Hey guys, Redbeard here. Well, I've got all my clothing laid out that I'm going to be taking with me on my upcoming Pacific Crest Trail through hike, and I just wanted to walk you guys through that uh, so you could have an idea as to what I will be taking with me when it comes to clothing on the trail. So everything is laid out here. I'm going to start over here on the left. Uh, these are the shoes I'm going to be wearing. These are the Brooks Cascadia 9s. Uh, I use these shoes exclusively on the AT. Went through four pairs and loved them. Had one blister. I uh, attempted to try a new pair of shoes that I thought might be more durable, um, and that can be seen in my Foothills video. They were a pair of Solomon Trail Runners that are very popular on the trail, but I absolutely uh, despise those shoes. I lost a toenail, um, bruised some other ones, and had foot issues for nearly two to three weeks after my hike uh, from those Solomons. Uh, the break in, there was actually a break in period on those shoes that I wasn't really aware of and so I, I was not a big fan. These shoes have no break in period and like I said I had one blister with these shoes and that was because I got trench, a case of trench foot in some rainy conditions. So I, I cannot recommend these shoes enough. So I'm going to be switching to those. I'll probably, you get around six to seven hundred, possibly eight hundred miles out of a single pair of those shoes. So I'm going to be using these uh, exclusively. And they did come out with Cascadia 10s, which is great because that means the 9s are now discounted. Um, over here to the hats I'm going to be using, I'm going to be taking two hats. I'm definitely a hat guy. This is my hat. They're both made by Columbia. They both have OmniFreeze technology, which is just a technology that uh, the fabric cools as you sweat. Um, I did use this hat already on my through hike last year and you know the technology I, I don't know if I noticed much of a cooling. I'm sure that it does do a little bit of cooling but over time uh, it, it you know I'm, the hat deteriorates and it just doesn't really do much cooling but I really love the fit of these hats so that's the primary reason I'm taking them. This is the hat I'm going to be using in the desert um, as you can see, it's got the cloth that kind of protects your neck and your ears, and it's got great venting on the top. So we'll see how I like it. Uh, I just am not a big fan of wide-brimmed hats, so I'm going to be using that. And this will be kind of my hat for town, uh, and also for once I get out of the desert, and I really don't need that extra cloth on the back for my neck. So those are what I'm going to be wearing. Socks, I carry two pairs of socks. Um, these are not the actual socks I'm going to take. I like darn tough socks. Uh, ones that come just kind of below my calf muscle, so I don't wear lower ankle socks. I prefer the little bit higher socks like these. So I'm going to carry two and also a pair of sock liners that I don't have yet as well. Uh, I love wearing sock liners with my socks. For me, it works great. I really think that helps uh, in wicking the moisture off my feet and helps prevent blisters. So for me, that's great. Uh, my beanie that I take, I use this on my last two hike as well. This is the Patagonia Cap 4 beanie. I really like it. It doesn't weigh anything and it keeps my ears extra toasty. The watch I'm going to be using, same watch I used again on my through hike, this is the Casio Pro Trek watch. I really like this watch because it does great altitude readings, uh, which I really like to use as I'm going up a mountain. I set the altitude and I'm able to know exactly how much further I have as I'm climbing up, and it does all your other basic features. It has a compass and a barometer as well. Um, I take one pair of underwear. Um, this is a Patagonia pair. They wick and dry quickly. I really like these. That's what I'm going to be using. Also, a pair of gloves. These are made by Sirius. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Just a basic pair of gloves. I don't use them that often, but I will take them uh, at least until it, I, I think that it's not needed. Then I'll send them ahead on the trail. And it's got a nice texture on the inside so that you can still use your smartphone. Sunglasses are extremely important, obviously. I took a pair of native sunglasses on the Appalachian Trail, but I've upgraded to this pair of native sunglasses. This is called Native Linville model. They are specifically designed for backpacking and hiking. Uh, they actually talk about the Appalachian Trail on their website. And one of the features that I like about these natives, interchangeable lenses. You can take these lenses off. They also, this is a, a blue lens that's made for kind of bright light. Um, so I figured it'd work really, really well in, in the desert environment. Also comes with a pair of low light lenses as well um, that you would obviously wear in lower light. Can't say enough great things about these sunglasses, so I'm really looking forward to using these on the trail. Um, move over here to my pants. This is a pair of pants made by Columbia. As you can see, and you will see, I, I'm a big fan of Columbia products. Um, this pair of pants is called Columbia Silver Ridge Pants. They're convertible pants, so you can convert them to shorts. I do like the pants 
because I have fair skin, so I'm not going to be wearing shorts very often in the desert because I'm afraid that my legs will get burnt. So this, uh, this pair of pants is a UPF rating of 50, so it, it should work great in the desert, and I really, really do like these. They do block the wind quite well as, uh, also, so that's great uh, while you're hiking on exposed ridge lines. Uh, it came with a belt. I'll have the belt as well. Uh, it's got one cargo pocket that's zip and one that's Velcro. I really like the zip cargo pocket, and typically I keep my beanie in there when it's colder out so I can easily get that if I need it or maps or anything that I might use. Um, now as far as a base layer, I'm going to be using the Patagonia Cap 4 hoodie. I used this on my through hike as well. It was one of my favorite pieces of clothing that I used on that hike. Super warm, great. The, my only concern with it, like any base layer, is it doesn't block the wind. So a lot of times I was having to throw my synthetic jacket on if it was extremely windy in the morning. But otherwise, I love hiking in this thing. So I'm definitely looking forward to bringing this again and using it. Uh, so now to the shirts that I'm going to be wearing, all Columbia. Uh, these are the t-shirts. I'm going to carry two shirts and I do that because, well three shirts, but two t-shirts. One is going to be kind of for, for camp or I'm going to change them out. Uh, so I like to have two shirts just so I have something else to put on in camp. Uh, this is a shirt that I'll probably only have in the desert. Uh, this is called the Columbia Silver Ridge shirt. Um, it's got an, a high collar, neck collar here to help uh, protect you from the sun. It's got a UPF rating of 50, some pockets, good venting on the side. It's a long sleeve shirt. So I really think this is going to come in handy for me again with the fair skin. Uh, if I didn't have fair skin, I probably would not wear this shirt. I would just go with the t-shirts. And these are Columbia, I think they call these zero rules t-shirts. Uh, they've got the OmniFreeze technology as well throughout the shirts and I've been wearing them and I wore them this one on my 80 mile 76 mile through hike of the Foothills Trail and really really liked it so this actually you can actually see the OmniFreeze uh, kind of system right here the little circles these little circles apparently when, this, when you sweat they they get cold that's pretty much it so I'm gonna be using these and like I said when I get out of the desert I'll send this home probably and just use these two shirts okay so next my rain suit that I'll be taking. This is, obviously you guys have probably seen my Z-Packs review of this rain suit. This is the Z-Packs Challenger rain suit. Weighs 9.6 ounces for the entire suit. The jacket, the pants. I find that I don't really use the pants that often, but I do want to bring it just more for safety reasons, just in case I come into some extreme weather. Uh, I Since I only carry really one pair of pants, I want to make sure that I th can throw these on over top of those to keep my pants uh, mostly dry. Uh, and my jacket, I really like the jacket. I'll, you know, definitely wear that quite a bit if it's raining. On over here, this is the z Packs wind shell. Um, I oftentimes wore my rain jacket on the AT when it was extremely windy and cold. Now that won't be used except for in the rain, and I will be using this wind shell jacket by z Packs um, when it's really windy, and it weighs two ounces I think something like that and I can put that combine it with my Patagonia Cap 4 hoodie and it kind of has almost a synthetic jacket feel so I really like this I found that when I was hiking um, on the foothills trail I was able to wear just a t-shirt and the windshell jacket and temperatures around 35 degrees and was plenty warm enough while I was moving so I'm really looking forward to having this on the Pacific Crest Trail and I think it's going to be one of my favorite pieces of clothing gear this year and last but not least, this is my um, warm jacket that I'm going to be wearing. This is a Patagonia um, Ultralight Down hoodie. Um, so I used this once again on the AT last year along with a synthetic jacket made by Rab. Um, if I had that jacket, there's a chance I would probably be taking it instead of this one. But unfortunately, I left it on a bus uh, when I was returning home. Uh, from my hike, so I'll never see that jacket again. So I'm going to be using this jacket, and I really do like it. It weighs like nine ounces, which is awesome. Uh, there are a few lighter jackets out there on the market now, um, but this is a pretty light jacket and extremely warm for its weight. So I really like that. Uh, only thing, obviously, with a down jacket, you just have to make sure that you don't get it wet because it will not work as far as keeping you warm once it has gotten wet. I'm sure a lot of you already know that. So. That is pretty much everything that I'll be taking with me 
on my hike and I think uh, for me obviously the thing that I needed to worry about the most was protecting my skin from the sun especially in the desert environment so hopefully my setup here is going to do that for me um, but that's pretty much it guys um, everything I'm going to be using on the Pacific Crest Trail this year when it comes to clothing uh, if you guys have any questions regarding anything that you see here please uh, reach out to me otherwise Redbeard out